Welcome to God of War. This is Will Sanchez. My special guest today is the Putnam Nature Trail. This trail has been enjoyed for over 40 years by the local community. Actually, it belongs to everybody. That may soon be history because City Parks has plans to transform the trail into a 10-foot wide bicycle speedway. Today, we will meet some folks who will share their views with us. Got to run. Hi, I'm Jeff Galloway, U.S. Olympian and training consultant for Run Disney and uh, thousands of folks every year. In my research for the book Trail Running, which I'm just now finishing up, I discovered some interesting things about trails in metro areas. First of all, they're diminishing. Secondly, once a trail area has been discontinued, there aren't any trails that take its place. And the quality of life and running in our metro areas goes down as a result of that. The Putnam Trail is a wonderful resource to the community and needs to be preserved. I just got my new mountain bike, so I ride it after school with my friends, and this place is amazing. I love watching the frogs hop on the lily pads, and it's a really cool place, actually. I want natural. I'm a mom of two small children. I'm also a teacher here in the Bronx, where I was born and raised. I love taking my kids here on the Putnam Trail. I've taken my children ever since they were very young. When my youngest was only a few months old, we would take him in our little baby Bjorn strapped on. When he got a little older, we would try and push him on the stroller, but of course it is a trail and it's supposed to be. So we would take him out and carry him and we would let him run in the mud because we wanted him to experience nature. And I think what really makes me sad as both a mom and a teacher, because I think of the students that I have, is that this is one of the few areas in the Bronx where you could still see nature. It is in fact a trail and a trail by definition should be natural, it's not a path. And I think to take this away and pave it over and make it into just like every other path is just a shame because my kids just love walking around and they find long ago covered up train tracks and they see animals in the trees as we walk by. They heard woodpeckers in the trees as we were walking by. And to them, being born and raised in New York City, that's just such a unique experience. And it's something that I would hope they would get to have. I would hope that the students I teach would get to have especially since many of them are unable to go outside of New York City. They don't have the means to go to summer camp. I think for a lot of urban children, having a space inside New York City is so important to have it natural like this. So I really hope they don't pave it over. The trail is very precious to me, and uh, since April is Poetry Month, I'd like to read this poem to you. In the heartlands of Van Cortlandt Park, between marsh and pond, lies a path named the Putnam Trail. One can still see remnants of its history, railroad tracks and switching station stanchions. One is transported back to a moment in time, birds nesting in the tree canopy, the orchard orioles melodious chirping, the dappled light ribbons rippling across the good earthen trail. Birders pause and walkers take respite from pounding the pavement of city streets. One feels renewed. The joggers' footfalls and bikers pass through. Wildflowers embedded in the rail tracks. The sweet scents of the shrubs soak in its beauty, lock in its memory, for plans are underfoot to transform it forever, to fell the trees and shrubs, to widen the path to remove the history of the tracks, to pave the earthen trail with asphalt. Where will the songbirds go as we pave over the earth? Will they ever return? The shade canopy over the earthen trail between marsh and pond to be ripped out, paved for a mile and a half in the heartland of Van Cortland Park. Hail, hail the Putnam Trail Don't cover up what 
what's left of the old railroad Let her people carry through And save the pavement for Madison I've been a resident of the area for 10 years and the Putnam Trail has always been my go-to place to find uh, real peace and um, in, in, a, in a beautiful environment surrounded by a, a very urban uh, concrete jungle. I come here with my son to go you know, nature walking. Um, I come with my wife to, for romantic setting. I come uh, to ride my bike. I come here for a walk. I come here for a run. Um, I come here to look at the birds and, and the beautiful trees and, and all the, the natural wonder in, in the forest. I think it's really important to, to note that uh, if you ask uh, just about anybody on this trail, I've come down here for, for almost two years now and canvassed people about what's, what's their opinion on this, and just about everybody is, is completely against pavement. Uh, so I, I just can't see how that can be ignored. I normally use the Putnam Trail for running. I run here usually Saturdays and Sundays, on Saturdays with the Van Cortlandt Track Club, on Sundays on my own. I'll also come out on the weekends and walk my dog just to be outside in the woods, in the shade to enjoy nature and the cool breeze. And also just to be there and seeing all the, the wildlife. Once you get to the paved portion, there's no more rabbits. You don't see the deer. There's not so many birds. When you're running in the morning, you see the bird watchers coming out and so many different people are enjoying it. Um, and I think it would be a really big loss because it's such an asset to the park. I'm a naturalist from Queens as well as a blogger. I got involved with Van Cortlandt Park three years ago when Eric Karf, the program director of New York City Audubon, approached me and asked if I'd be interested in leading a bird walk at Van Cortlandt. I was pretty much excited about it because I do know the history of Van Cortlandt as it associates with the Bronx County Bird Club. Two of its original members are pretty famous, Alan Cruschank and Roger Tory Peterson. Over the three years that I've birded along Van Cortlandt and explored the Putnam Trail, I found a lot of nesting birds along the trail. Blue-gray gnatcatchers, red-bellied woodpeckers, yellow warblers, downy woodpeckers, one or two hairy woodpeckers we'd find, Baltimore Orioles, Orchard Orioles, we all find along the trail. If the plan goes ahead to cut all the trees down that they're planning to remove to pave this trail, most of those birds will lose the habitat that's required for them to nest. And it would be a shame. This park has a lot of history. In 1927, Alan Cruschank found the first brown, nesting brown creeper and documented that which was covered in Bird Lore magazine. In 1927, Alan Cruschank again found another important bird. This was a king rail, which was in the Cattail Marsh, which has long since been devastated through the changes that have taken place here at Van Cortlandt. Again, if we go ahead and pave the, the Putnam Trail, we're going to lose natural trail. We need to keep it as natural as possible. In this century, Roger Tory Peterson has done more than any other naturalist to promote the interests of wildlife. If you were alive today, I can assure you Roger Tory Peterson would say no to the paving of the Putnam Trail. Well, if the Parks Department paved over this trail, it's, it's going to be a major di disappointment. I, I need a soft surface to run on. I do a lot of miles, and we're getting less and less uh, they've already paved other sections in, in the park and uh, I, I run on those when I have to of course but when I'm coming down the South County Trail towards the unpaved section I really look forward to it. I can't wait to get on something soft and I really feel the difference when I get there. When I'm biking and, and when I'm running I, I notice that when bicyclists are passing other runners if they're coming up from behind on the asphalt sections the runners don't know the bikes are there. And if they're pulling out in front of a, a, a cyclist to go around another runner that's going the other way, it's a recipe for disaster. And I really do anticipate accidents. Um, I see it from both sides of the camp. There's, there's going to be a three foot running trail, which is fine if you're on your own. But uh, 10 foot of asphalt for bikes, three foot for runners. Runners have got to pass each other when they're going the opposite direction. And they're just going to pull out in front of a, a cyclist and, it, and it's going to be nasty. 
It's not safe. If the Parks Department paved the Putnam Trail, I think it would be a real loss for the children of the neighborhood who really use this as a way to get in touch with nature. I think it would be a loss for older runners who really can't run on pavement anymore, and it's a real place for us to save our knees and be able to continue doing marathons. I think it would be a loss for um, any community who really wants to get out off the pavement for a moment and just take a moment to be um, in the natural woods. Well, normally when I come here, I look around. I like seeing the ecosystems. That's, I hike. I've ran a 5K here. And I just really like the feeling that there's other animals watching me. Bunnies, birds, geese, lots of geese. And I'm not only being cheered on by humans. If the park department paid, paved over the trail, most of the ecosystem would probably go away so I'm not sure why they need it to be paved. Um, well, I use the trail, the Putnam Trail, I use it to train for races, but I think more than that, I, I use it as an escape from my daily grind. You know, it's not, um, being in social work, I don't, I don't really have, I don't, I don't have the luxury of being able to travel around a lot, you know, outside of the city, and so I really use it as you know, as a, a way to get out of my current concrete environment. You know, um, I live in the Bronx, I work in Spanish Harlem, everything around me is pavement and concrete and noise. And I think the, the beautiful thing about the trail all year round is that for me anyway, it's never the same, run, uh, never the same run twice. You know, um, depending on what time of day you come, you know, the lighting, uh, what season you come every every time it's it feels like a, a brand new experience and and I would hate to be robbed of those experiences this trail is paved my life would be impacted in tremendously it's not having having the trail in its natural state is so important to me because as I said it allows me to get away you know I run the streets of New York all the time I run the streets of the Bronx all the time, but this is, this is sacred ground to me. It feels sacred. This is where the community goes to get away from asphalt. And ha ha, they're bringing the asphalt to us. Some in this great castle of power, prestige, and money have decided what the community doesn't want. These are the same politicians, those who promise to give nature priority, but they develop, construct, intrude, pave it, straighten it out. Maybe they'll leave a little bit of a curve or two, but it's not what the community wants. Surely we can keep our promises. It's only a mile and a half of it. It's not too far to go. We come here frequently. We like to go birding and we like to go uh, hiking around the trails here to do watercolor painting, observe wildflowers. We go cycling. Uh, we've cycled uh, on our bicycles all the way up to uh, the Irish Hung Memorial in Ardsley on the South County Trailway, which is what the Putnam Trail is called in Westchester County. That trail is 14.1 miles in Westchester, and it's all paved. When you get to Van Cortlandt Park, you have a unique situation where the pavement ends, and you have then a mile and a half nature trail which has a whole different character, and it's that character we're hoping to preserve. The uh, plan is to widen the trail to 15 feet, 10 feet of which will be asphalt. So we have a mile and a half is 7,920 feet times 10 feet wide equals 79,200 square feet of asphalt that the city plans to dump on our beautiful nature trail. We hope that we can stop that, and it should be stopped because it's a wrong idea and it's preventing countless future generations from truly enjoying the trail as the unique trail that it truly is. Kids love the Putnam Trail. These kids, in a lot of cases, can't afford to get out of the city in the summer. So this is their nature trail. Very important to realize that. Thank you for listening and uh, come enjoy the trail. It's very nice in spring and in all seasons.
I've been birding in this park for the past 57 years. And I've been using this trail for most of those years. When I was younger, this was a railroad track. 40 years ago, it was torn up and has become what I would consider one of the better nature trails in the city. I've looked at what has been proposed here. Uh, I can't imagine why anybody would want to put asphalt down here. There is, seems to me that something else is going on here. Uh, the, the trail itself uh, hosts a number of, of breeding birds, one of which is the warbling vireo, that I doubt very much there's any place in the city that has the kind of density in, in population that this short stretch of trail does. I'm chairman of the Friends of Van Cortlandt Park. I'm a member of the board of directors of the Roadrunners, uh, New York Roadrunners. Uh, but I'm speaking for myself. I'm not speaking on behalf of any organization. I've been running in Van Cortlandt Park. I had my first race, I guess, as a college freshman in 1951. But it was only in, um, in about 10 or 12 years ago that uh, I first discovered uh, the availability of this hard packed, this hard dirt packed trail for running. And it is a, it is a spectacular experience to be able to come out here day after day. Um, unlike the parade grounds in the winter, uh, this trail is um, protected from, uh, from the winds. And in the summertime, uh, it's got the tree overhang, which gives us some protection from from the sun. Um, it's a straight, flat trail. It's, uh, bikers can use it uh, if they want because it's, it's hard packed. And there's no reason why um, it can't continue to, to be utilized in that fashion. Uh, spending hundreds of thousands of dollars, or I've heard bigger numbers as well, to bring asphalt into this park um, is, is just a wasted uh, and wasteful expenditure of money, particularly in this era of, um, of um, uh, lacking finances for so many important public causes. Uh, I understand there are some bikers who will benefit from this, uh, but the runners uh, uniformly will be harmed by the paving over. Um, anybody who's run at all can tell you that running on roads is much harder on your knees and your ankles than running on hard packed dirt. And the, uh, the idea that uh, we can't work out some kind of accommodation uh, either just by a very modest expenditure of, um, of tidying up small portions of this hard packed trail or doing what was done uh, 15, 17 years ago for the cross country trail, which is using crushed rock, which has the same feel as hard packed dirt. Uh, it, it seems to me would be a perfectly appropriate accommodation. And I do not understand why the parks department has been so consistently dishonest in its description of what they intended to do and how they've gone about and done it. Is that they don't have to pave it in order to make it accessible. They don't have to widen it as much. They can put down a surface uh, called stone dust that would fit in with the park's character and its history and stay, stay environmentally friendly because it's a permeable surface as opposed to asphalt, which is not permeable. Uh, it would fit in with the natural environment of the park. Uh, and it's something that uh, a lot of us endorse as a replacement or alternative. Uh, stone dust actually costs no more than asphalt to maintain per year. We got the information from a study of 100 rail trails uh, that was put together by a conservancy in the Northeast. They looked at 100 rail trails, which is basically what the Putnam Trail is because we've been told that it's difficult to maintain this nature trail by the, the parks uh, department. That, um, that perhaps what we could do as a community is get together and create something called the uh, 
friends of the Putnam Nature Trail. It would be made up of like volunteers, maybe 100 people or so from the community that would come in and just regularly keep up uh, the maintenance of the trail. They're associated with the parks. One is uh, the general uh, you know, organization called Friends of Van Cortlandt Park, uh, for instance, which has you know, uh, responsibility for programs in the park, some of the trails, uh, that sort of thing. So it's not an unusual thing for communities to do. Another example would be uh, Friends of uh, the uh, Old Croton Aqueduct Trail, the OCA. That also has some historical resonance from being paved but kept in its historical natural state. I'm a uh, photographer and uh, naturalist from Queens County. I spend much of my time in Alley Park, but I do get around to some of the other parks, including Van Cortlandt Park, where I've spent a few uh, enjoyable days looking for butterflies. I came here today because I've long known Van Cortlandt Park to be a stronghold for the silvery checker spot butterfly. This is a species which has declined dramatically in the Northeast over the last 20 years. And uh, I was appalled to hear that uh, there was a plan to pave over potential habitat uh, without apparently any kind of environmental impact study being done. The uh, silvery checker spot like most butterflies, has strict requirements in order to survive. And in their case, they require the plant woodland sunflower. Now, this sunflower, just like any flower, is going to grow on natural soil, not pavement. So it's almost without question that a lot of the sunflower is going to be destroyed in the process and a very good chance that uh, we may lose this butterfly from New York entirely. Of course, I'm making the case for the butterfly, but I also want to stress that it's important for people. This is a large city with a lot of population, many of whom don't have the means to travel to more natural areas, and this provides one of the few getaways in the city where they can go out and enjoy nature and the more nature we can preserve, the greater biodiversity, it's a greater benefit to everyone, the wildlife and the people of New York City as well. This park is, is wonderful for birds. Uh, there are the native uh, species, the, the, the geese and, and uh, then the ducks, but the, there's also, during the year, you have all kinds of birds that come through migrating and uh, and if you're interested in birds, this is a great place to come. And sometimes there's something out of the ordinary that pops up that is amazing and people come from all over to see it. And it's great to, to, to participate in that. Uh, I think that paving it would really serve no purpose that serves my interest anyway, uh, because I'm getting old and I fall down and I would rather fall on this than, than on the pavement. It, it's really nasty. A lot of the times we just get to enjoy nature and uh, not working on injuring ourselves because we don't have to run on asphalt. We have this great trail to run on. And if you just pave over it, it's sort of like bringing a piece of the concrete jungle into our trail. So I feel that it would negatively impact not just our running, but our ability to enjoy the park. We enjoy all the birds, the bunnies. Sometimes we run into deers when we're running, um, tons of geese. And you, it's just, you sort of feel a part of something bigger than just yourself. And, and the park really brings that out. Plenty of parents come out here with their children. You know, kids like to dig, they like to get dirty. Let them do it. Hi, I'm Catherine Switzer. I won the New York City Marathon in 1974, and yes, that was a long time ago. I've been lucky to be running for 53 years, and I think one of the reasons I have stayed mostly injury-free is because I run on trails and dirt surfaces only. 
So, of course, I'm not in favor of asphalting any of nature's trails because paving the trail greatly increases injuries. We know that. Whether it's walkers, runners, or even dogs, they all thrive when they exercise on natural dirt surfaces. As you can see, this is a very special place. This is Will Sanchez, and I gotta run. Thank you. 